he'll come do. Yeah. Let's go. Man, I hope it's embossed on the other side. Killer looking chemical bottle right here. Oh, could it be embossed, man? So if you're new here, my name is Matt. We're with KY Creekers. We're in the creeks every Sunday, guys. We're looking for antique bottles, stamp bricks, airheads, any kind of cool old relics, and we just have a blast. Love hanging out with you guys and just continuing to build this community. You guys are crazy. We might smash 12K today on TikTok, and all of our other followings are just continuing to grow. And, man, from the bottom of my heart, thank y'all so much. Uh, I, speechless, man. Don't really have words for it. I'm just a redneck out here trying to save as much history as I can, and you guys seem to enjoy it, so we're going to keep on after it. Uh, so without further ado, man, let's hop in here and uh, see what we don't find today. We have a bottle chilling up here on the old tire here. Unfortunately, she broke. But these are the type of bottles that we're definitely going to be finding today because everything is froze up pretty good. That was a swirled Pepsi. Uh, the ACL is gone and uh, not going to be able to get a date code off of the bottom of it either. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to say it's going gonna, it's gonna to date anywhere from... Uh, they switched over to that style in the late 50s, early 60s. And uh, so that's going to be 60s, 70s on that guy there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just about put my eye out with that. Oh my oh. gosh. Alright, let's check it out, chat. Let's check it out together. Look at that right there. Even though it's freezing outside, look at that. We find us some stuff. Love it. Let's see, can I see what it says? It says bottle on the bottom. I think it's gonna be Ingram's. I'm pretty sure I found one of these before. Something like that. Oh, are you gonna pop loose? Probably not. We gotta be careful here though. We can definitely break this pretty easily. So it's gonna be fun trying to chisel her out of here. Hey, let's go. Hey. Let's go chat. Just like what we wanted. Oh, no. Obviously, that's all froze up in there. It will have to thaw out. What's it say? Who was that? Oh, yeah, I do remember this. I have found one before. It's a shaving cream. Uh, and it's Ingram's. Ingram shaving cream right up there around the top, guys. Beautiful cobalt bottle, too, man. Wow. Man, that is cool. You got to love that. That's the kind of stuff. Love, love finding stuff like that. I believe this guy, when I was researching, I think these were right around 30s. <laughs> Maybe even possibly 40s, but you just don't see much cobalt stuff like that, man. I love the cobalt stuff. That is a freaking awesome find right there. Let's go. Made the whole icy trip worth it, even though it's probably, you know, $5 bottle at most. But still, what's not to love? Looky right there, guys. Check that out. Oh man, I'm getting excited already, even though it is frozen out here today. Oh yeah. Oh, that water is cold. <laughs> oh, check it out right there though. Let's go. I am no marble expert, guys. Have no idea the age on that at all, but that is a beautiful marble. Oh yeah, it's not even wedged in there. That's good. Hey, check that out. That is an inner. It almost looks like an old spin top. It's embossed too. Are you kidding me? I'd have never dreamed in my in my life that that would have been embossed. It says wall, wall flowers. Huh. huh? Look at that. Probably perfume. I'd have to imagine. It's a ketchup. You guys freaking love your ketchup. <laughs> what is it? It's. I mean, it's. <laughs> it's a ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I absolutely hate ketchups. At least this one's broke though. Like the 100 year old bottle, we always find 100 year old ketchups that are never broke. And all the good 100 year old soda bottles are always just absolutely shattered. The bottle, that could be a nice bed right there maybe. That's an inter a nice little interesting jar. Could be, it could be anything. Shoe polish, medicine, I mean you name it. Another little jar right there though for you guys. Probably washed out of this hill. Looks like right around the same age period. Probably gonna be in the 40s era. <laughs> Oh, and there's an. Oh, that could be a soda back behind it, too, guys. I'm getting a little excited. Ooh. Come in here. Poke on in here, chat. All right, so we got the old beer laying right here. And then right up here, another neck top. Looks like soda. And that could be ACL. Or if we get real lucky, maybe Art Deco. And I'd be excited if it was an Art Deco bottle. So, what are we going to do? We're going to dig it. 
Ground frozen, I don't care, boy. You better dig it. I think we just got, okay, we got the beer right there, guys. Ah, it looks like the beer has no damage. That's nice. Let's see if we can't get a date code off the bottom of her. Yep, that's Owens Illinois Glass Company right there, guys. It's got the stipling on the bottom, which means 40s. It also has uh, the dot next to the date code. Date code's always to the right. So that beer is a 1944. Probably, it looks like maybe a swirl Pepsi. I can't tell. Oh, the ACL is nice. Nice. Oh my gosh, let's go. The ACL almost never holds up. It's a true, looks like a true cola. True aid, absolutely what it is, guys. Look at that. Man, beautiful little soda right there. Let's go. Almost that Art Deco style too. Look at the, I don't know if the camera's doing it much justice. How it's kind of ribbed up there. Yeah. Man, let's go. See if we can't get the date code off of it, guys. Oh, that's awesome. It says True 8 on the bottom of it as well. I don't know where the date code would be on this guy. It's probably, it's gotta be 30s or 40s, honestly. 40s, I'm gonna lean more towards 40s because in the 40s they did the ACL and still had a lot of the embossed type stuff going on still. Uh, and that right there was from 44. So let's go, man. Get it. Please. My hands are all. Oh yeah, there she goes. Holy crap! She's yeah, big. So much work for that. She's big. Looks like a chocolate soldier, possibly. The only problem is the ACOs. That's exactly what it is. ACOs not not fared too well on that one. That is a chocolate soldier right there, though, guys. Gonna be from the same time period, 40s there. That's exactly. Nice Illinois, Owens, Illinois, and that looks like from 1948. 1948 right there, fellas. Beautiful, nice little soda. We got two sodas out of that hole, I'll take it. Yeah, let's go. Man, I hope it's embossed on the other side. Killer looking chemical bottle right here. Oh, could it be embossed, man? Let's go, chat. look at this. Big blobby chemical right here. Oh, get excited. This is the type of stuff we get me excited, chat. Please be a boss. Oh. No, it's slick. Mm. How dare you look at that monstrosity? Golly. Beautiful amber, too. That's nice. That's real nice. Like it's got the goo in it. It's got the goo. Something on the bottom. I don't know if it says what it was or if it's just a mold number. Melinda said, good find. Absolutely. PD and Co. right there, guys. I'm going to try to get the end of the lighting so you guys can see it right there. PD and Co. Might have to try to do a little bit of research, figure out what company that was. But, man, that is nice. Let's go. Dude, I got so excited with that. Oh it's broken. I already know, because I've already found it uh, the last time I was down here. Ah, man. I sat there and dug and dug at that thing, and it is it's broke. <laughs> Brought a tear to my eye. Sad day. <laughs> Sad day right there. Well, check that out right there, guys. It's a beautiful Art Deco soda. Yeah, it's a polka dot bottle. <laughs> uh, but that guy right there is from the 20s, and that is a, that's a bobo link. Hey, let's go. Best find of the freaking day. You're never gonna believe it. It's a ketchup. Huh? <laughs> Bro, you had me. Check it out, chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, that's a big ketchup. <laughs> right there in all her glory. <laughs> yep, gonna be a nice 30s ketchup right there for y'all. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Look at the... Huh. I don't know if I've ever found one. Like, is that a Boyd's? Or what is that? It says fruit jar there. It says con... Consol... Can't really make it consolid... Consolidated. Huh. Fruit jar company. New York. Interesting. I've never found a mason jar seal like that before. That's a nice one. That's definitely gonna be a keeper. Nice little... Okay. Probably uh, like a little shampoo bottle back in the day or 
perfume of some sorts. What's going on YouTube? Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, comment down below what your favorite find was, guys. If you're enjoying our content, be sure to smash that subscribe button, like it, smash the bell for us, and as always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.